We are with Jeremy Hill, and running back, another SEC character, yes. you know, straight out of LSU. But first thing first, everybody talks about you know, the first thing getting in this game, and you know, what's your greatest achievement? Mm -hmm. what, what is your greatest achievement thus far, and what else do you want to achieve? I think my greatest achievement is getting drafted. I think, you know, that's always been my life goal from Little League on, just playing and knowing that I had the gift and to kind of utilize that gift. People always told me you have the potential, the potential. And for finding that potential to happen, I think it was the biggest life goal for me. And uh, from now on, just here, just working hard and continuing so I can continue living that life goal. Now, what's going forward? What else do you want to achieve? What are the things you want to achieve, not just outside the game, but beyond that? Yeah, most definitely. I definitely want to set myself up for life and also use this platform that I'm on to help other people, and especially younger kids with the same dream as me. I know, you know, a lot of times you can get discouraged in football as far as injuries and as far as, you know, having a battle with school and family stuff. So I just want to, you know, give the kids out there, you know, the mindset that, you know, if they keep working hard and continue to go to school and do things they're supposed to do, they can accomplish their dreams too. So that's something I want to do. What is your most treasured possession? Everybody has one. Everybody loves it. You know, we can even talk about that binky you had when you were a little kid. <laughs> Whatever it is. Oh, man, possession. I wouldn't go that far back. Oh, man. Uh, honestly, my uh, most valuable player trophy from uh, LSU this past season. Um, they awarded that to me. And uh, just to get that voted by my coaches and my teammates just meant the world to me. So I definitely got to hold on uh, tightly to that so I can kind of talk crap to my other teammates. Always a great thing. Whenever your, your teammates put you out front and your mm -hmm. coaches staff that that says a lot. Yes, I, you can't beat that part. What is a talent you wish you had? Mm -hmm. Definitely wish I ran a 4-2. A lot of people <laughs> keep making all this big hype well, about running You're, you're, you're already a talented that. runner. What's something that you don't Oh, like as far as not football? Yeah, you know, uh, I wish I could actually golf, man. That's something I really wish I could do. I know, you know, people, you know, it's a big, you know, huge off-season hobby. And I think it would introduce me to a whole new crowd. So um, definitely something I want to learn and pick up on when I have some free time. The golf is definitely a way to do it. Uh, I play a little golf myself. But um, it's a learned skill. No matter how good you think, you really get <laughs> Trust me, it's a learned skill. Favorite player growing up? Age old question. Because for me, I didn't really have one because I mm -hmm. wasn't in the, in the US most of my youth. But who was your favorite player growing up? Uh, I definitely have to go with Reggie Bush. I think he was probably one of the more fascinating running backs and kind of just, you know, motivated me to keep playing running back. And uh, he did a great job at uh, USC, and I was a big USC guy too. So um, I think, you know, him, he's still balling to this day. So that's probably been my most favorite player. Big issue in the league right now. Mm -hmm. Painkillers, supplements, health in general, right? Mm -hmm. How as a, as a rookie do you face all that? You know, do you, you know, when you look at it, do you use supplements? You know, when you look at maintaining your health, how are you going to do that? And you know, how are you going to manage these these throughout the course of your career? I think you always just have to find a, a relationship with your trainers at the facility and with your team. And just, you know, you know what you're putting in your body, but I think if it's something questionable, just going through them and going through the league and using the league protocols. And I think if you do those things, I think that there's not an issue with those things. So I think, you know, with the health as well, just continue to rehab your body, take care of your body. And I think, you know, guys can have successful careers in this league. Thank <laughs> you.